Buckeye Nation is going to be, they know, you know, at least the older members of Buckeye Nation. Now, <laughs> they know Carlos Snow, but they don't know what happened to him from then to today. So you were drafted? No. Uh, you was, were free agent? Yeah, I was a free agent. free agent with mm -hmm. the Broncos? Yes. Yes. How did that go? How long were you there? You had injuries you had to fight? Uh, well, now, I, you were injured at Ohio State, if I remember. Yeah, I had um, several knee surgeries here at Ohio State, and then a big one was the um, my right femur bone. Um, it was a um, benign tumor that they had to remove the whole thing, and even to the day, I just have a metal rod with three screws in the bottom and three screws in the top. And um, then when I first went to Denver, uh, we were practicing getting ready for um, to play um, Kansas City. That Friday, I think, uh, I think that Friday I was running the sweep. Um, first time I'm getting the, the start, uh, you know, the start and be behind John Elway. So I was excited, you know, that's my guy right there. And, um, you know, I got the pitch and I, I took it to the right side and I tried to do my little cut and, and um, I fractured my, um, uh, my patella on the, the mm. left side, my, left, my right patella. Yeah, it fractured, it just shattered it. And what the doctor was telling me is that I had worked out so hard and, you know, to, to come back from the, from the benign tumor, to, to come back from that, I worked that leg out so hard that it actually, my quad actually ripped my, mm. my um, patella. It, it just shattered it. I was one of those guys that put the, I put all my eggs in that basket. Yeah. And it didn't flourish, so. Here I am. So what are you left? Right. When, that, when that's gone, your identity was as a football player, as it happens to a lot of guys. Yeah. Is, that, is that accurate? I mean, that's, that's all the way accurate. You know, I just, you know, you have a lot of friends. You have your entourage. You have, a, you know, a lot of people that seem like they really care about you. Um, um, you know, just a lot of stuff you didn't really have to work hard for. But when the... When the cheering and everything is gone, you know, it's, it, it can be a real lonely place. Mm. Now, saying this, I left with a lot of pain. Mm. I was in a lot of pain. Um, um, Physical, mental, both? It was both. It was both. Um, I mean, mental in the beginning, because I wouldn't even watch football. Mm. I mean, I was so hurt from not being able to play. I wouldn't watch. I wouldn't even watch football. You know, my friends couldn't get me to come over to watch, you know, and everything. I just couldn't watch just how bad it hurt me. I still take a lot of um, meds, but I don't self-medicate. That's where I ran into the problem with I, I was self-medicating. Okay. And a lot of these are from the football injuries. You know, the, you know, the back surgeries probably wasn't, but all my knee, I got them total, two total knee replacements within the last year, um, partial hip replacement, the femur bone, it's just a lot of stuff, three back surgeries. I'm in a lot of pain. Yeah. Going to bed, um, waking up, I'm in a lot of pain. You know, ibuprofen doesn't do it or whatever. So I try to stay off my feet, but if I stay off my feet too long, that hurts. If I sit too long, that hurts. If I stand, I don't know what to do. But one thing I'm not gonna do is go back to self-medicating. I'm like, I can't do that. Uh, this pain you're feeling, it forces you not to really be able to do manual labor, I'm guessing, in some ways. Right, uh, stooping, bending, walking, all that's really out. Definitely can't run no more. That's one of the most <laughs> diff um, disappointing things mm. to me because at one time I used to be, you know, Mr. Ohio, you know, and it ran the 10 4 800 meter dash and, you know, just, Lightning fast, and people calling me the jet or the blizzard, whatever right. one, oh, yeah. you know, to where I can barely walk. Um, some of the injuries are from football. The several, all the scopes, um, the the patella tear, that them are all football. Um, or how did you go from this place, which maybe wasn't way up high, down to this place? What what leads to that? Well, it was just simple. Like I said, in the, um, I played so much. I played this game I love so much to where I couldn't work. And, and a lot of stuff I'm supposed to be at, uh, be at different stuff representing whatever, other people, foundation, golf islands, 
I can't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't do it. I mean, if it's something that of importance, like a, a, a doctor, only thing I really do now is go to my AA meetings, go, and I see a psychiatrist, I go to him, and, and, and my friends, that, that brought, them, them the only people that I could fight in right now. Mm -hmm. How long, the car, the, all this, the shelters, was that two weeks, two months, two years? How long did you have to, was this process? About six months. Six months, so you yeah. lost a job? Yeah, yeah, I lost a job back in uh, February, yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, about six months. And um, but when you, when you, when you are, just like you're in jail, when you have a lot of time to just look at yourself and reflect, a lot of stuff come to you. A lot of stuff you don't like. A lot of stuff about me here I didn't like. Yeah. It was either change or die. That was the only mm -hmm. two. And, and I have made an attempt on my life for twice. Mm -hmm. I don't like to uh, talk about that, but I made an attempt on my life twice. And... Uh, Um, I don't, I don't want to ever go that way again because, you know, it's a, I don't want to have a, a permanent, um, solution to a temporary, you know, I can, sure. I can fix it, yeah. you know, yeah. temporary fix, you know, and have this permanent solution. And I started to think about my children and, um. And I have two grandbabies, and I and I started just to think about all that, um, you know. And then I started thinking about what would my mother say, because I never want to hurt her. I never want to hurt. I never want to hurt my mother. You know, she's she's in my soul. You know. What was her name? And especially now, you know, you being on rock bottom like I am. This is what I call this rock bottom. But I said this might be the top of something good. Instead of saying the rock bottom, this might be the top of a new Carlos, a new uh, life, a beginning. So that's how I look at it, and that's how I go about life right now.